They just don't have the long locks or the facial hair to prove it. After winning 15 straight conference championships from 92 to 2007, the Monarchs have not finished higher than fifth in the league since 2013. But ODU has done what all good hoops teams strive for, rebound. Tonight, the Monarchs can move into first place with a victory against Rice. But that'll be a tall task. Not only have the Owls won 30 straight conference games, Rice has a junior center, Nancy Mulkey. She's six foot nine. Tonight, though, the Monarchs muzzle Mulkey, holding the tall Texan to just nine points, her lowest output in a month. How about that ODU offense? Portsmouth's Taylor Edwards put the Monarchs up 22-16 with two of her 14 points. We're tied at 28 at halftime. Fourth quarter now, still tied. Aja Wayne can win it for the Monarchs. Her shot is no good, and we go to overtime, knotted at 55. But in the OT, the Monarchs own it. Old Dominion outscores the reigning champs 11-4 in the extra period to deliver a statement win. ODU tells the chef, the rice is done. At least with that 30-game conference win streak, Monarchs win it 66-59 in OT. This was really huge for us. We were all week um, just seeing what we had to do to beat this team, and we did that. Now it's like nobody can stop us, so it feels good. I've had so many fans come up to me and just say, oh my God, I haven't felt like this since the field house. I played in the field house, you know, back when Tisha and all of them were playing and Wendy and Pat were going at it. So um, it just feels good. So the Monarchs move into first place with six games to go in the regular season. ODU finishes the year at right.